Anne Hegarty took to social media to defend this morning presenters Holly Willoughby and Philip Schofield today, after the pair skipped the line to see the Queen lying in state. The Chase star argued the pair were just doing their jobs as she slammed those who were criticizing the ITV stars. Holly, 41, and Philip, 60, face major backlash on social media over the weekend, after it transpired they had skipped to the front of the queue to see the Queen lying in state in order to film a this morning segment. The presenters elicited an angry response from social media, after it was reported other celebrities such as David Beckham queued up for over 12 hours with everyone else. Anne, 64, shared her thoughts on the public's reaction to the pair in view of her 161,600 Twitter followers. On Friday the quizzer penned, my understanding is that Holly and Phil weren't in a VIP line, they were in a press line and about to do a piece to camera. A day later, a Twitter user named Mia Froggett released a photograph of Holly and Philip at the scene. Above the picture she wrote, this is a photo taken by my sister's husband yesterday, after he had queued with my sister, their 10, year old, daughter and my disabled mom, for 13 plus hours. My mom was ushered out of at Holly Wills and at Scoff's way so they could hashtag Q jumpers, without, even a thanks hashtag Schofield gate hashtag Q jumping. Sick, later that day, and replied, as I understand it, they were presenters doing a piece to camera, and therefore not in the queue at all. Obviously the TV people still have to do their jobs. Iono Kelly then replied, yet the police, service people and NHS staff who are all deployed to London to do their jobs during this period still have to join the masses in the queues. That's on top of their grueling working schedule of up to 16 hours a day. Is being on TV a good excuse to queue jump? And then responded, no. If I were going to see the coffin, it'd queue up like everyone else. Dot unless, of course, ITV had actually asked me to do a paid gig there. And was then met with a storm of criticism, prompting her to share an article from the Daily Mail, which featured quotes from this morning bosses denying that Holly and Philip had jumped the queue. The governess star tweeted, you're all being extremely rude. I'm simply quoting the Daily Mail. This did not put her critics' complaints to bed, however, with James arguing today, so why did David Beckham and Susanna Reid join the queue and wait for hours to get it? All Schofield and Willoughby had to do was go to the end of the queue and join it like everyone else. Because they were not there to work? And fired back. On Saturday, this morning released a statement on Instagram in view of their two. 5 million followers denying Holly and Philip had jumped the queue. They wrote, Hello everyone, we would like to clarify something. We asked Philip and Holly to be a part of a film for this Tuesday's program. They did not jump the queue, have VIP access or file past the Queen lying in state, but instead, were there in a professional capacity as part of the world media to report on the event.